I'm calling for the resignation of senior DFO scientist Dr. Simon Jones for research fraud. January 24, 2023, the BC Salmon Farmers Association issued a press release announcing there is no statistically relevant association between sea lice in salmon farms and the lice infections documented on young wild salmon trying to swim past these farms. The salmon farmers are quoting a Canadian Science Advisory Secretariat report authored by Dr. Simon Jones and others. However, Documents sent to Jones from a junior scientist hired in his lab report the opposite result. Sea lice on salmon farms in Clackwood Sound, Quatsino, and the Discovery Islands were closely related to the sea lice infections of the young wild salmon. In one document, Jones appears to cross out this result and replaces it with the opposite result. Well, this meets the definition of research fraud by Elsevier, one of the biggest publishers of scientific journals in the world. Specifically, falsification includes changing or omitting data or results in such a way that the research is not accurately represented. A person might falsify data to make it fit with the desired end result of a study. Falsification is a serious form of misconduct because they result in a scientific record that does not accurately reflect observed truth. The BC Salmon Farmers released this falsified document just days before the Minister of Fisheries was due to make the third decision whether to reinstate salmon farms in the Discovery Islands, which is the Fraser River Salmon Migration Route. If this piece of dirty science remains on the record, it can be used by the salmon farming industry to sue the minister again if she does not hand the Discovery Islands back to them. If salmon farms cannot operate without harming wild salmon, they need to get out of the ocean. And if government scientists are committing research fraud to fool Canadians and our government into thinking that salmon farms are low risk to wild salmon, well, they need to resign, retire, or be fired.